Hi everyone, Sarah Eggers here, and I'm going to show you how to create an email that lets your readers pick what content they'd love to see using ConvertKit's tagging and automation system. So it'll be real quick. First thing that you'll do, you're gonna log into ConvertKit and go into your subscribers tab. That's where you're gonna find segments and tags. Go ahead and create all the tags that you need to create. So you can see I've already created a process tag. So now I'm gonna create a building brand tag. Go ahead and hit save. Now there's gonna be no one inside these tags. That's perfectly fine. We're gonna automatically populate these tags. So next you're gonna hop on over into automations and you're gonna go and click add rule. What you want to say is when someone clicks on a link, um, building brand opt-in, uh, you can name these whatever you want. You're the only one that's going to see these names. Uh, the link does have to have a destination. Now, most of you already have your thank you pages set up. You can go ahead and send them over to a thank you page, or you can even send them over to a private blog post if you are, aren't comfortable with creating pages, but you're comfortable, you know how to create a blog post. You could create something that is private that people can only view with that link, and it could say, hey, Thank you so much for letting me know what you'd love to see more of. I'll make sure more of this content is coming to you. Now you could create a custom one for each single type of opt-in and maybe you could list if you did the private, if you did the page or the post um, and you customized it, you could maybe even link out a bunch of blog posts about building a brand or um, a process for the other one. Whatever you wanna do, but you do have to have a destination URL in here, and I would make the most of it. Don't just send them to your generic website. Always give them someplace else to go. Okay, so that's my mini rant. So what you wanna do, put the name of what you wanna call the trigger. It needs to be a destination URL. And then here is where the beauty happens. If they click on that link, they get a tag added. So you can say building brand as the tag, you hit save rule, and you are all set to go. So now you're gonna go ahead and go into broadcast and start writing that email. Um, I saved you some time. I didn't want you to see me having to write the sell out. This is the content that is in the blog post example that I have here. So let's go ahead and, so for example, this one is for processes. You go ahead and click on link, insert link, and then you go over here to link triggers. If you see process opt-in, you hit insert, you are all set to go. So you wanna do all of that for each one of these. And then what will happen is whoever clicks on this link is going to get that tag. So you can go ahead, send that out, and you will be all set and ready to go. And what will happen is that tag will automatically be filled up and they'll show up here. And so you'll be having them self-segment, self-identify for what content they want to see. And um, that's it. If you have any questions, go over to sarahagers.com on this blog post. Go ahead and leave a comment there or you can grab my email address on the website as well at sarahagers.com and send me any questions you have. Thank you.